So you guys uh, on Twitter have been asking me to actually cover the battle events window that we have down here. So that's what I'm going to do this week. Next week we will resume our regularly scheduled uh, releases with episode 2 of Magic Set Editor coming next week. And then episode, what is it, 12 of RPG Maker coming the week after that. But this week we will cover battle events and we are going to be covering it in a game project that i'm working on myself so things are different we have less troops less enemies none of that matters this will all apply the same way within the tutorial project so on the troops page here down here we have the battle event window that i spoke about in previous episodes now this works like any other type of event just with a few extra added things so today we're going to try to accomplish a couple things. First of all, we're going to have our boss here speak when the battle begins. Then I want her to speak after a few turns, speak when her health is a little bit lower, and then speak when she's about to die. So let's start with the speaking at the beginning of battle. Now what we come here is we have our little conditions menu on event page one. Click on that, and this brings up all these conditions. Now you can set the conditions... Uh, via this that will cause the event to occur. In this case, we want it to be turn zero. So at turn zero, this occurs. So before the battle even begins. So click OK. And over here, you have the span window. Basically, this determines how many times or how often this event occurs. Uh, battle, at, at any point in time, the conditions are met. At one point in battle, it occurs. Turn. If the conditions are met during a turn, every turn, it can occur. Or moment at any given time if the conditions are met, it'll occur. So basically, battle, it only happens once. Turn, it only happens once per turn. And moment, it can be happening, happening constantly. So we want it to be battle. Pretty much all of these events we're going to have be battle because we only want them to happen once. So on turn zero, which is right before the battle, we just want our person to talk. So just do a show text. This is just like any other um, text box that we've done in any of the events, in the NPC episodes, anything like that. So we're just going to have her say, you shall all regret facing me. Make sure you preview it. Cool. Click OK. So there's our first before turn event. Now we want to do something when it's like, let's say, turn three. So click New Event Page, and that just brings up a fresh battle event. Set the conditions to turn three. There it goes. And now we're going to have her say something again. Now you can do more than just text. You can have it do all sorts of funny things, and you can kind of just, you know, experiment, play around, and figure it out. It can get really, you can get really, really inventive. I've used this to create tutorial events where like I've had players uh, kind of listening to the player characters who are talking about themselves about how the battle systems work. You can do all sorts of fun stuff. So on turn, what is it, three, we're gonna have her say, you are much stronger than I had anticipated. And we ran out of space there, so we're going to move anticipated down there. Cool. Now we're going to do another event page. And this one we're going to do a different condition. We're going to do enemy HP for the Demon Queen. And we're going to put this at 75. So 75% health, she's going to say this. We're going to have her say... You miserable wretches. Actually, we're going to have it pop up with another box. After that, you shall all perish. Cool. And our last event is the right as she's about to die. So let's put that at... Uh, let's go with five. So 5% health. Or you know what? Let's go 10 just to be safe. 
So at about 10% health, she's going to say this. And it's going to be just simply gah. Like, ah, you know, kind of not happy with what's going on. And again, you can sort of play around with different conditions and get different effects, different sort of events to occur. Um, so now let's uh, let's just go ahead and test this out. So go to battle test. We've got, you know, this all going on. I'm going to apologize because you guys are probably going to get blasted by sound, but here we go. And this is my own project. It's got side view battlers going. Um, that's simply just an option in MV in the uh, uh, system tab. I'm gonna turn that down so that I don't hear it as much. So that you can get side view battlers. That's I'm not really going to cover that. If you guys want to know how to do that, you can tweet at me and I'll send you a screenshot. But anyways, so before the battles even began, we've got our first event. You shall all regret facing me. Now we go in and we're just going to hit her. Because I purposely set up this boss to not be very strong, so our level 1 people are doing plenty. So we've already hit her down to the 75% health amount. So, you miserable wretches, you shall all perish. And you notice it interrupted Arnus being able to attack. Because 75%, it met that condition at that point in the battle, and it occurred. So, let's see if we even make it to turn 3. Blasted her with fire. So now we're on turn three. You're much stronger than I had anticipated. Keep going. Now she's down below 10% health. So we get our final little message. And then, you know, hit her a few more times. And she is slain. Yay! You're victorious. And the battle's over. So that, guys, is how to use battle events in a nutshell. Just be sure to uh, experiment with it. And if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. Uh, don't forget also to give this video a like and subscribe. Uh, I hope you guys have a good one, and I will see you later on in the week.